for those who couldn't, long before it was socially acceptable in the mainstream. I'm sorry I'm reading like this, but I don't like these things. They creep me out. What creeps you out, honey? And I'm not putting on my ugly ass glasses. They're all going, is Will okay? Is Will okay? Is Will okay? Again, <laughs> yes, Will's okay. Notorious He's losing his mind. Sharon Stone for her fearless efforts fundraising for Empire. For the past 40 years, I have fought for and lost countless friends to the AIDS epidemic. And I'm so relieved to see future generations of artists continue to raise awareness to help find a cure and support those currently living with AIDS. This is so sad. Last year, and this is important, last year, a staggering 1.5 million people were infected with HIV. And can you imagine 160,000 of those people were under the age, are under the age of 15? Think about it. We're living in a pandemic, right? And it's very serious. But think about this pandemic. It's still not over. I need a picture of her. Today, tens of millions continue to live with HIV and require vital access to treatment in order to survive. Yet, millions are unable to receive access to basic treatment, which remains crucial to ending the AIDS epidemic as soon as possible. So can't you see, everyone? The fight is still not over. Can you see that? Yes. That's yes. no, not enough. Can you see that? Yes! Okay, honey, I love it. Is she bossy? They're not Leo's. <laughs> I love her. She's so sassy. We can never be too Addison. complacent when it comes to the silent killer that continues to wreak Look havoc that beautiful thing. in people's lives across the globe. Do you love Madonna? I love Madonna. Love Madonna. Jeremy, wherever you are in that big, vast blackness. <laughs> Jeremy, from your work with the Life Ball in Vienna back in 1999, where you began raising funds for HIV and AIDS research. I always think of you guys. Partnering with organizations oh my, such as oh the Keep Caring Foundation, <laughs> Red, the Trevor Project, and of course, Ampar. Honey, I mean, there is the most major moms. Say hi. Yeah. We're live. Say hi. Tell Sherry. That's Addison's beautiful mother. You continue to raise the bar. Hey, Willie. As a Are you in there? Director of oh, they get it? Whose hey, founder, Fred hey, Mosquino, hey, hey. passed away due to complications from AIDS in 1994 and whose legacy you still honor with the Franco Moschino Foundation established to assist HIV yeah, yeah. children around the world so thank you for doing that. Hey, your mom is major. She's so cute. Your talent continues to capture the zeitgeist both shifting and shaping popular culture as we know it. Do you guys even know what zeitgeist means? Yes. Probably not. Look it up. <laughs> um, you immortalize a playfulness in life, bringing joy and a childlike energy to your creati creativity and your fashion creations. <laughs> you lift us up, you make us laugh, and you deserve this recognition for the work you did and will continue to do. Yes! yes! Now you know, this is how it is with Leos, you know that all this praise comes with a prize. All this praise for me doesn't come without request. I ask that you continue to keep going. Keep striving. Keep using your platform and your platform shoes <laughs> to change the way that people look at others who are different, who are unique, who are extraordinary and often marginalized. 
you're already great. Just remember that you walk in the steps of giants who have received this award before you. I'm sure you do remember that. This is the important thing that all of us should walk away with and remember that when we, when we share our light, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. Celebrate my dear friend Jeremy Scott. And most importantly, thank you so very much for your motherfucking generosity. Thank you, Madonna. Jeremy, where are you? I hear we raised right there. six million dollars. That's so amazing. Leo's. <laughs> we cry. I'm the Leo who is lacking the gene that she has that makes you want to stand on stage. So you got this. Please bear with me. Um, <laughs> bro, that is Madonna. I am dying. I forgot the most important thing. I didn't give him his award. <laughs> Madonna, we love you! As some of you know, I grew up in rural Missouri. And you can imagine with a flair for fashion like this, um, the taunting and teasing and bullying sometimes was um, a lot that I endured. Um, to be honest, throughout my teenage years, there wasn't an actual day that went by that I wasn't called a derogatory name, pushed, hit, even spat on. And sometimes it became almost more than I could endure. But I would just think these people are, they don't understand me, they don't get it. They don't get it. And I thought, one day, I'm gonna be friends with Madonna. <laughs> and you are, and you are, honey. Don't you love that? And I would think about her, and she was my North Star, my lucky star. <laughs> And that's what got me through the days, the weeks, even the years, until I could get to New York. Now, it may be difficult for some of you to remember, others to even understand the time before social media and TikTok, and having glimpses into other people's lives, and you know, before a time when Ryan Murphy's programs proliferated the airwaves with gay characters and gay cast, and way long before Little Nas X was topping the charts about bottoming. <laughs> yes! Even before there was the term ally, there was me. only one word that represented a safe haven for young gay boys like me, and that word was Madonna. Yeah. Yeah. She's an icon. Honestly, on behalf of all the gay boys and gay girls, yes, who you may feel seen, appreciated, and loved, I am so humbled to accept this honor from the most courageous woman I know. So thank you. And thank you, everyone. Our program has now come to a close. Please join what us a in night. the cocktail space.